CEO pay has risen 10 times as fast as average worker salaries since the 1970s. And in this paper, we provide uh, an entirely new explanation for this phenomenon. We came up with the title of the paper from listening to what business people were saying about CEO pay. Things like, in Lake Wobegon, Minnesota, the, the men are strong, the women are good looking, and all the children are above average. And people would claim that the same thing was going on with corporate CEOs. One way you can make the shareholders and others think the CEO is above average is by paying that CEO like he or she is above average. Rachel and I were interested in trying to understand if this made any sense. What we learned in the research that was surprising, expectations matter. If all investors expect all firms to be overpaying their managers to try to convince the investors that the managers are very smart, then a firm that decides not to play that game, they'll be treated as a firm that has a bad manager. Allowing shareholders greater control over managerial pay may actually be counterproductive. When shareholders and boards of directors are more patient, more willing to follow a buy and hold strategy, that's going to mean there's less pressure to increase CEO pay in an attempt to make the manager look good. Information matters a lot. Shareholders and the CEO might well know whether the CEO is a star or not so much, but that people outside of that relationship, say investors in the broader stock market, they might not have that information. That asymmetry of information means that the insiders have an incentive to distort their actions to try to convey that information. This whole area of CEO pay is a great one to talk about with business students. CEO pay has risen fast and continues to do so and people want to know why. My background is in economics. I'm a labor economist by training. Rachel's background, she's an accounting professor. We didn't want to live our whole lives in a huge city and so we found that Salt Lake City is a wonderful place to live. All of our faculty are engaged in research like this. It's not just me, it's not just Rachel. And what that means is that we're able to give students an education that goes way beyond where the textbooks are. This paper is not a paper that's in the textbooks about labor economics or about CEO pay. And it won't be for years because it's a brand new idea that we've been developing. Ideas that are beyond what's in the textbooks, that's what you're going to get here.